morning. This morning, we're going to talk about um, sleep and restless nights and how you can have a good quality night's sleep. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And start the slideshow. Oops. There we go. Welcome to today's Solutions Workshop. Are you ready to get a good night's sleep? I know I was when I first started using essential oils. So let me ask you, did you know that you are supposed to get at least seven to eight hours of quality sleep every night? I didn't know that. I was getting an average of five to six hours a night. Now I get probably at least eight hours a night. And I can track it on my phone. And most people have, or a lot of people, I shouldn't say most, have Apple Watches. And they can track it on their Apple Watch or on their phones. And about a Third, I was astounded by this. About a third of Americans are not getting the sleep they need. And that equals about one in five adults in America. So, oops, to me, these numbers, where are you in these numbers? Are you? getting a restful sleep? Are you having difficulty sleeping? Do you wake up? Is your mind racing and you have trouble getting to sleep? Or do you fall asleep and then suddenly wake up and can't get back to sleep? Put it in the chat or the comment below if you're watching this replay. Let me know. Perhaps I can give you some suggestions. Did you know depriving your body of sleep has been linked to healthcare risk? I did not know the effects our sleep has on us. Our sleep, our quality of sleep affects our organs, almost every organ. And by the way, did you know our skin is our largest organ of our body? So if we're not sleeping, our skin isn't relaxed. Think about that. Just think, just think about your skin. And as women, we don't like wrinkles, right? So if we're not sleeping and we're all stressed out, our face especially is tense, right? We need to relax as a society. Mental health issues is huge in our society. And if we could just relax, we could just sleep, that would have a huge impact on mental health issues. It influences how we feel, it influences how we learn. Sleep impacts how you think during the day, how you function during the day. It impacts how you behave. Think about a time when you didn't have a good night's sleep. How did you function the next day? Think about that. It impacts our cardiovascular health. 
if we're not getting a good night's sleep, our heart, our lungs are impacted. And those systems drives us. They're like the gas and the water in our car, the oil. If our gas, water, and oil in our cars aren't, they're not in our car. Our cars don't go down the road, right? So what's our bodies going to do? So how's your overall health functioning? If you're not getting a good night's sleep. It also affects your reaction time when you're driving. It affects your reaction time with your family. It affects your reaction time in conversations, in meetings if you're working. It affects your mood. If you're happy, if you're sad, if you're upset. Getting quality is sleep is essential to your physical and mental demands of daily life. And I know a lot of people don't like the word demands, but we all have daily demands on us. Whether we like it or not, every day. We have things we need to do. And getting a good night's sleep is essential. It's our foundation. Think of a pyramid. That foundation, that first step is a good night's sleep. Everything on top of that is essential to what you got during the night. I recently found this study on the CDT website, the National Centers for Disease Control. And the key findings was, this is 2020 study, 8.4 adults took sleep medication in the last 30 days, 8.4. This is a US study. Now that might not sound like a lot, but think of the US population. Think of 8% of that population. That is huge. I didn't, I didn't do the statistics of the actual numbers, but that's a huge number. And 10.2% was women. Why do you think that is? Well, I have some ideas. Put in the chat or the comment what your ideas are. For me, women run households. Women take care of the children. Even when they're away from home, they've grown up, they've went to college, they have their families, we still take care of them. They still come to us with their problems and celebrations. When they've grown up, they have children. They come to grandma with their issues, their celebrations. <laughs> Our responsibilities multiply. We still take care of the house. We usually are working. So we take care of the house. We take care of jobs. Men, 6.2, that's still huge. Men have a lot of things on their shoulders, financial burdens. And I say burdens because they don't always share it with their spouses or their girlfriends or their significant others. Men don't always open up what's on their mind. It's difficult for them to share. 
growing up, little boys are always encouraged to share their feelings. So that number also is high. And medication use generally increases with age. So think about that. Another statistic from their key findings that kind of surprised me was among the men, those with the highest family incomes were less likely to use sleep medication, while those with lower and middle income groups were higher. I guess the reason is because if you have a lower or middle income, you have larger financial burdens. That's what I was thinking from that without reading the study in detail. If you have higher income, you don't have as many financial burdens. And you can take a screenshot of this slide and look at this study. It's really got a lot of gems in it. Okay, slide, let's move forward. This is from Deterra. Quality sleep is vital to how you feel each and every day. It's essential to support your body's natural recuperative and restorative processes. Remember the pyramid. Sleep is the foundation of that pyramid. Sleep. You must sleep before you can have anything else. Your body has to rest. It has to recover from your daily activities. Your brain needs to rest. Your body needs to rest. Here's another study I found. I've always been a little bit about me. I've always been attracted to lavender. That was my first experience with essential oils way back in the 80s. A co-worker came to me at Chloe Williamsburg and said, Sandy, you're so stressed. Take a whip of this. And she handed me lavender essential oils, and I couldn't believe it. And I've used lavender ever since, and I even have it as a roll on. It's my favorite. That was Citrus Bliss. And I use them every day. I even have it in my diffuser along with serenity and lemon. This study talks about, and this is from um, the National Institute of Health. And again, take a picture of this. It's a wonderful study. Talks about how lavender has therapeutic and curative pro properties ranging from relaxation to treating par parasitic infections, burns, insect bites, and spasms. And there's a growing evidence suggesting that lavender oil may be an effective medical treatment for several neurological disorders. And I have someone that uses lavender oil. She works in a restaurant. She got burned by oil. She took a picture of the burn and she started using lavender oil and the row one. She had second degree burns. The only thing she did was use lavender. It was amazing how it healed. So I just throw that in because of this study. 
but I used the lavender in my diffuser at night, along with the serenity. And I turn it on about an hour to 30 minutes before bedtime because it just removes any of the stagnant air in my bedroom. And it just makes a more relaxing environment so that when my husband and I are going to bed, you just instantly smell it when we go into the bedroom. So it's, it's really wonderful. And you can get really inexpensive diffusers. So take a screenshot of this if you want to read this. So I just want to take a break here and check in with you. What have you learned? What have you learned about sleep? Why does sleep matter to you? Did you learn anything about the sleep research? Put it in the chat or the comments if you're listening to the replay. Why does this matter to you? Why are you here today? Why are you listening to the replay? And let me know if you want the ebook on, on sleep. I'll be glad to email it to you. Should we go on? So what do I do? This is what I do. I used to take over the counter medications. I ditched them <laughs> months ago because it caused me drowsiness when I woke up in the morning. I didn't have loss of coordination like the slide says, but it can cause that. But I had drowsiness, um, and I did find that I was taking more and more of it because I did build up a tolerance to it. And I was taking the essential oils, and I was taking the um, serenity. I started taking the serenity oil. And then I added the serenity salt milk. And along with the Serenity soft gel, I added Cobiba. Why? Because the Cobiba shuts down the brain. And I don't know about you, but for me, I have a very busy work life. I have two businesses. And I have a lot going on in my mind. And I find with the Kobiba, it will shut my brain down and allow the lavender to relax me. So the combination of the two really works. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm totally relaxed. I'm refreshed and I'm ready to go. And if I need to during the day, I can take both of them during the day. So if I get overwhelmed or stressed out, I'll just repeat both of them during the day. Now I don't take two serenities during the day. I only take one because I don't want to go to sleep. I just want to relax. And I will take two cobibas because I, I need to relax this mind of mine if I'm getting overwhelmed. And in my diffuser, I'll use the lavender. So, or a combination of other essential oils. And I take my soft gels about 30 minutes before bed to get them into my system. And if I'm using the oils, when you put them on tropically, it only takes 22 seconds. And within two minutes, they're in your blood system. So they're very fast acting. Now, not all soft gels, if you're taking them internally, can be taken internally. So depends on the brand you're using. So make sure you're reading your labels. And another thing you can use is do your soft gels on your wrists 
the bend of your arms, your temples, the back of your neck, your forehead. Don't forget your feet. Rub them on your feet and especially your big toes because that your feet, remember, reflexology represents all the organs of your body. And besides, it feels so good. So give yourself that good foot massage before you go to bed. And yes, try different oils if you want. I do. I love tea tree as well. So don't forget your oils before you go to bed. So type in the chat or the comment line what you do. What is your practice? before you go to bed. And would you like some suggestions? I'm available to give you some suggestions, not just about oils. I have plenty of sleep suggestions. One is don't exercise too soon before you go to sleep. Why? Because you're getting your circulatory system all wrapped up. And it's not going to quiet down before you go to sleep. So what's in these oils? So this is the serenity oil. And it's a very soothing aroma. When I open my serenity oil, and if you get doTERRA oils, I always tell people, start out here, bring it in like this, because serenity, the doTERRA oils are very pure. doTERRA um, developed certified pure tested grade oils. They're the ones that came up with that. And they're tested six times before they come to market. Plus, they do private testing. So, and on the bottom, let me put the cap on might be able to see it. And the bottom, there's codes. You can get an app and scan this, and you'll be able to see what ingredients is in each and every bottle of doTERRA. But when you bring it in like this, you can really smell it. For instance, in peppermint, there's 28 cups it's equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea. That's how strong the doTERRA oils are. The serenity smells so relaxing. And I love the name serenity because that's exactly what it smells like. It's just so soothing. It's got lavender, cedarwood, lanik, yoban, um, I can't pronounce that other one. Calamine. Oh, I took off that one. Oh, sandalwood. Essential oils. Uh, vanilla absolute. It's just, it's just wonderful. I love serenity. And the soft gels has the um, lavender in that, along with that other one here that I can't pronounce. It also has lemon balm, um, passionate power, flower. So the soft gels are different from the oil. So that's why they're different. So when you use them together, they're really powerful. And it's important to note that these statements down here have not been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. And the oils that doTERRA produces, they, this is just three of the places, but doTERRA oils are sourced from all over the world. And I could go on and on about this, but they're, it's an amazing company. And I really um, resonate with this company. They really help their harvesters and farmers. So don't forget your oils or your soft gels. 
And cooling, another tip I have for you is cooling down the room will help you sleep more comfortably too. So these are the oils that I mentioned. Um, these are just some comments that I've received. So if you would like, I can talk to you or some friends. Um, just let me know. And you can visit my website, heartfeltcoaching333.com and see my events page for upcoming events. Or you can go to my Facebook group, Sandy Solutions, um, and join that where I post these videos. Um, and if you want to text me at 505-301-5179 with your email, I'll be happy to send you that um, sleep ebook. So I appreciate you joining today and uh, spending some time on your busy Saturday. Thank you. Bye.